Guys, really quick, uh, right before you start watching this video, be sure to drop a like and sub, but please go in the description and check out Black Ops Amazing. I've linked the video I'm about to show. It's a little montage that he made or, or his team made, but I didn't make it. I'm crediting him 100%. The video's in the description and his channel is too. Please go check it out. Okay, uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? This was meant to be a new start, really. A perfect world. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little yous. You, little. Well, so far, so good. But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. My name is Edward Richthofen. And I have been trying so very hard to do the right thing. Surrender to the shadows. Something has changed in you, Richtofen. When we were in the prison, you were fearful. Fearful of what you thought was to come. Things have changed. Now we must improvise and adapt. What now, Sherman? Surely you do not seek to torture me further. I know all too well what lies ahead. <laughs> enough riddles, Richthofen! Have I not already given you enough? My blade, my honor, my soul! Everybody just pull your shit together, or I'm gonna start freaking out too! We will end it, one way or another. We have been comrades for a long time, have we not, Dempsey? If something happened to Richthofen, Comrades can depend on each other. I love you too, Tech. The blood holds some sort of power. A chance, perhaps, to finally undo the sins of the past. To help our souls find peace. Even in our darkest hour, we have stood shoulder to shoulder. You have lived it over and over. Sent back to Great War countless times. Always doomed to fall. Nikurai has been walking a path to enlightenment for a long time. I believe he may be approaching his destination. Acceptance is not weakness, Nikurai. You are more than just my allies. My brothers in arms. You were my friends. So what you just watched was not my video. I just want to say that straight up, that that is not my video. It's by a guy named Black Ops Amazing. His channel will be in the description and that specific video will be linked down below. Please go click on it, leave it a like and sub to him. I've been subbed to him for quite a while and when that got recommended to me, I knew it was gonna be sad. The second I watched it, I wanted to put it in this video. This is going to be a very, probably one of my most emotional videos I've had to make in a long time. So, you know, I know my friends at school are going to make fun of me for this video, but whatever. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Zane here and welcome to my final video on this topic, on this Tagged or Toten topic, I think. But uh, this is a little bit more than Tagged or Toten. This is my thank you video to Treyarch, my thank you video to Zombies, because... <laughs> Zombies, as I mentioned in my video that I posted, uh, my last video I posted, which was me talking about the biggest problem with Tagged or Toten, Zombies made me who I am today. Now, granted, I kind of joined Zombies pretty late. I only joined it in like 2016 in terms of on YouTube. But I've been playing this game mode since roughly 2011, 2010. I mean, I was really young, like eight, nine years old. I started playing this. I uh, fell in love with it. Didn't get into the story until about 2013 when Origins happened. I learned about everything with the story and then I watched the Origins cutscene and all that stuff. Got pretty angry, didn't understand a lot. You know, let Milo explain, Dalek and all those guys. Um, you know, it's just crazy that I've been watching those guys for like seven, eight years, man. Um, but yeah, guys, I may have not been emotionally invested in this for like, you know, the whole 11 years but I've been here for quite a while uh, for, for how old I am I mean I've been here for pretty much playing zombies about half my life you know <laughs> that's ha literally half of my life was spent you know playing zombies so I just wanted to thank Treyarch for making such an amazing an amazing game mode I'm really gonna try not to cry 
Um, but my entire, not my, you know, I said it before. I said that my entire YouTube channel isn't based off of zombies. I've always done vlogs. I've always done other videos. I've always branched out and always been myself. But zombies is what made this channel at the start, man. Not the necessarily the very. I did Minecraft, then I switched to zombies. Zombies is what made me fall in love with YouTube and you guys. I mean, I met literally all of my fans. Apart from the first hundred or so from Minecraft, I met and I gained a friendship and a relationship with from zombies. Um, even if I posted a vlog, I didn't really get many new people from my vlogs or my other videos. It was all from you guys for my BO3 streams, my BO2 streams, my BO4 streams. Um, I <laughs> I have met so many cool people on Twitter, on Discord, on YouTube even, uh, through Treyarch, uh, through Treyarch's game mode of zombies, and I want to thank them for that. Some of my closest friends nowadays that I still Discord with, or Skype with, or call, or message, I met through this incredible game mode we call zombies, and I just want to, you know, I owe Treyarch the world for that. I have gotten over a hundred and 10,000 views on YouTube in the last three and a half years or four ish years of this channel and majority of those views are coming from zombies I'd probably say like 90 90,000 of those are probably from zombies it ish maybe 80,000 I don't know but so many of those views are from zombies and I'm not saying that to flex because that's not that many views I mean people get more than that on one video I mean you know but that that just is to show you guys how much this means to me I mean to this day I get up and I make a video every three or four days now it's been every couple days but I still do it and the thing that made me do that was zombies I love this game I've been emotionally invested in this for years and to watch the ending to tag was heartbreaking for so many reasons I mean we got destroyed from the budget cuts but I'm still gonna just take in what what had happened it was a good ending it was a great ending even but like it's just crazy to think that just a few years ago me and my friends were just joking around about the revelations ending uh, like before it had happened and what we what we would do after zombies revelations happened and I didn't know what to do um, and obviously it ended up not being the end Chronicles came out Chronicles was such a just the peak of zombies man just the pinnacle of zombies um, now that we're three years later, and, you know, this is the real, true conclusion of the Ether storyline, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do know that I'm going to still be here, and I'm still going to make videos, but I do know that that passion came from zombies, and I'm still going to stream zombies, like, older map. For those of you that are not up to speed, maybe are, this is your first video by me in a while, uh, zombies is over. Ether is over. Victus, Primus... Ultimus is over totally over and everything's done uh, they're all dead everything went into the dark ether and is now destroyed the only thing left is Sam and Eddie they are gonna go live on their lives with the burden knowing that everyone that brought them there is dead but that's okay zombies comes out in 2020 by Treyarch what will they do I'm thinking chaos. I'm thinking they're going to keep going chaos. Although I don't care about the chaos storyline, I might have to start caring. I'm hoping there is a storyline with Sam and Eddie. I, I do kind of hope, but I also don't want it to get butchered. So, I don't know. Maybe just keep it the way it is. But, as I said, uh, I've just... I have so many fond memories from zombies I mean I'll be making another video of reacting to just a few of my zombies experiences but like there's just countless times like this was the first game that I truly couldn't fall asleep the day before a DLC dropped I mean I know that to some of you guys that's pretty pretty sad like seriously you can't sleep just because of a game but yes yes that's how emotionally invested I was in BO3 the night I can remember the night before Gord Crovey, I could it was like a, it was like a Christmas Eve when I was eight. I couldn't sleep. I I couldn't wait to see what happened to the story next. Zetsubo was the peak of the story in my in terms of my interest because they had teleported to Blood of the Dead. We didn't know that at the time, but they did. Um, and they came back, and I didn't understand what that meant. 
and it, it was just that was like the biggest interest in me like watching all those videos with the blood vials and the trillions of different and then reading the entire chronorium I read the entire chronorium like three or four times I mean that that takes a couple of hours you know I mean that just and that was just for fun just for straight up interest because of how much I loved the story I have literally written essays and persuasive essays and like every type of essay in the book on this storyline over the years in grade eight i'm in grade 12 now or senior year four years ago i uh, we had a provincial english exam and we had to at the end of it write a three-page essay of whatever we wanted it just had to be a story i wrote a three and a half page essay on richtofen specifically just richtofen's part of the story Edward Richtofen and everything that he went through, everything that happened with him, and that was it. I, I needed three more. If I could have kept going, I would have kept going ten more pages. That's how much I loved writing about it. Just writing about the zombie storyline was giving me goosebumps because I wanted to play it that bad. I mean, this game has given me so much, man. So much, and I've tried to give back as much as possible, but this just... This was an amazing few years on YouTube, an amazing eight nine years of my own life and I'm it's sad to see it end it really is and I strongly encourage you guys to re-watch that end thing at the beginning of this video go watch black ops amazings and I hope he doesn't take my video down for for showing it I am I, hey man if you're watching this I'm giving you credit please don't take it down but I mean yeah there's just so much with th this storyline and with zombies that there's a reason a lot of people don't like the ending. It's not necessarily because the ending's bad. It's because it's hard to please people that have been emotionally invested in something for 11 years. And if they don't, if they dislike it even 1%, they'll hate it. And another reason for that is because we don't want this to end. A lot of people don't want Ether to end. Um, it's not that I wanted it to end, but it was getting to that point. I mean, there wasn't much left they could have done with this storyline. Apart from show off all the stuff that we haven't seen, stuff we've only read or heard about. But we already know everything there is to know about that stuff. We just don't have a map for it. Just because something isn't in a map physically doesn't mean we haven't seen it. You know, the radio quotes in, call, in uh, Tag Der Toten of Richtofen from 1942, 1945. That was never in a map, but we know it happened. And we see it because we can picture it, you know? Um, guys, I, I just really, really, really can't believe Zombies is over. I truly cannot believe it. And I don't know what to do now that Zombies is over, you know. Uh, I'll definitely still stream Zombies, you know, older games, maybe BO5. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, I haven't really been able to process that Zombies is done the past few days. I just haven't been able to do it. You know, I played that DLC Tagged or Toten as if it was any other normal game any other normal DLC and it just kind of hurt to see it get beaten only eight hours I mean revelations took like a full week to beat this only took eight hours I mean that's to me that's just shows you what the team is right now for zombies and you know the cutscene and the budget cuts but at the end of the day man still zombies I still love it and it's over it's all over Hey guys, so I'm editing this right now, and I just wanted to chuck this part uh, into the video. If you don't want to watch this, totally fine, you can click off. I just wanted to throw in that I love you guys so, so very much. And this was hard, not only for me to record, but also for me to edit. I mean, just hearing my words, you can feel and hear the deadness in my throat. Now, I, when I recorded this, I was sick. This was recorded a few days ago, and I've been trying to get over the sickness I've had for the, basically the last two weeks. But... I would like to share with you guys one more video. I know I took Black Ops Amazing's montage, and I will be crediting him in the description. I can't say it enough. Um, but The Smith Plays. If you guys don't know Patrick Smith, go search up The Smith Plays on YouTube. Watch his most recent 40-minute, it's a long one, 40-minute zombies video. He, de he debunks and depicts everything that went wrong with zombies and what went wrong with BO4. Go watch that, because with my... My BO4 video of why BO4 sucked and the one problem with it, it's going to be very similar to that because what I feel is the same way that he felt. So I just wanted to share, share that with you guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and sub. And uh, I don't know, Zombies is over. 
Uh, we just have to, you know, we just have to reminisce. You know, just because it's over doesn't mean we have to be sad. We should be happy that it had happened. We had 11 years of an accidental game mode that was put in for fun for beating the campaign 11 years ago in World at War. But now, you know, 11 years later, we had a whole story. The storyline for zombies grew organically from the community. Hell, Sam was created from us. When the zombies used to hit the characters, we, we as YouTubers made videos saying, are they saying Sam? Who is Sam? Is she their leader or is he their leader? And look at what that did. It ended with, it brought Samantha in at moon, going into the dark ether, getting a little taste of it and becoming insane, controlling the zombies when they're blue eyed. I th blue eyes Sam, right? I, I think I actually don't 100% know that. Um, but yeah. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, this storyline grew organically, and uh, I'll be going into more depth about my BO4 video of why it sucked, but, uh, like I said, you guys should just think of all the times that you were awake late at night going for a new high round, or you ran home after school because you wanted to play the new DLC. I mean, truly, I'm not going to get that feeling for, a, probably not for another game, at least not the same one that we got with zombies, but hey, man. It was an accident, and sometimes that isn't about three and a half years on YouTube, amazing with, with uh, zombies, and I mean, just the last eight years of my life in general playing this game mode, it's been awesome. It's been, it's been cool.